my name is Lisa Scheidler. I'm the office coordinator at the Rose Center and we welcome you here. We're in downtown Morristown and the Rose Center was originally the Rose School and opened in 1892 as a co-educational school. It's currently operating as a cultural arts center for a six county area. Welcome to the Rose Center. I'm Kay Murphy and this is Lois Armstrong and we welcome you to see our exhibit. So welcome to our world of art. Okay, I'm going to try to choose three today to talk about. An oil with a floral, a watercolor landscape, and an oil that's uh, still life. So today we have the iris that you usually see them in groups of flowers. I tried to do just one single flower to bring out the definition of the petals itself. This is done in oils, Winsor & Newton oils. You can see the lighter sections, the soft pinks, then it drifts on down to the purples and the blues and the shadows. And the white frame kind of pops the flower out from the darker background. This is a small watercolor on aqua board. It's a museum quality backing that you can paint with watercolor and spray it with a UV protective spray and it can be framed without glass. It has a soft, soft touch to it, uh, a little difficult to work with, but I tried to get the image of the foggy morning and the person just fishing on the river. I wanted to get an image of the reflection, the antiques, the vintage items, and then the reflection of the quilt and the old photo on the wall in the mirror. And it's uh, oils again, Winsor & Newton oils. Uh, both of these are watercolors, and they have both been licensed to um, greeting card publishers as Christmas cards. This is my most licensed piece that I have. This has been National Wildlife Federation. This one has been too. They both have salt in the background, which gives a texture and makes it look like snow. Um, little different approach to most watercolors. And of course, the white of the paper is the white of the paper. <laughs> This is one of my color pencil originals, and it's kind of memories of the Cades Cove and the feeling you get over there when you're having a sunset. You used to spend a lot of time over there. Colored pencil is done in layers, very soft at first, and you build up your color uh, with the same color or different colors to get this effect. Uh, this is a watercolor, and uh, in this I have hidden images, four to be exact. A lot of times in watercolor, when you lay down the, the wash in the background and I throw salt in for an effect, things will appear. And this one didn't. This was a planned. I knew what this one was going to be in the rocks when I, I did the sketch. Um, it's kind of a fun thing to do. It's kind of called camouflage art. Here's the first one. Here's the second. Here's the third, and here's the fourth.
also do the art of scrimshaw. Now scrimshaw originated with the Inuits of North America and they scrimshawed a rough image on the uh, tool itself. That's where it originated. But scrimshaw were made more popular by the whalers because they had idle time, they had an abundance of whale's teeth, and they would use a needle, they would mix lamp oil with their ashes and to rub in because scrimshaw is the etching or the carving into ivory, bone, shell, horn, etc. And when they would do the scar their carving into the whale's teeth, they would use the lamp oil and the ashes to rub into it. And when they took that off, it would stay in the scratch marks. And it's basically what I do today. I use a sharp instrument, scratch it in, put ink on it, take it off, and it stays in the scratch marks. A scrimshaw is done on pre-banned ivory, which is still legal within the United States. It cannot be imported or exported. It's pre-1979. This is the pre-banned ivory here and on the necklace. That's why I wrap. Now they're also done on piano keys. These are old piano keys, which are ivory. The woodpecker is the old piano keys. The pendant and the earrings are all old piano keys. It's etched in, inked on, taken off, and it has to be a very high polished surface. This is on cow horn, these three here. The buffalo, the bear, and the eagle are on the cow horn. And this is a longhorn with a longhorn scrimshaw on it. It's gotten in very rough condition. It has to be clean, scraped down, filed, sanded, polished, etc. before it's ready to do the scrimshaw.